Hello and welcome back to Professor Lane in the Unbound Future. Where last episode we played through the sixth chapter of the game, and today we're playing through chapter seven, Chinatown. Puzzle sent to Beasley. That's a lot of puzzles. Okay. Go to the Gilded Seven Casino with pleasure. And we have to go in this direction to, and then back here, I believe. And then just keep going further. Just follow the spot, follow the spotlights. Look, there's Bolstro. Yes. I recognize that white pinstripe suit anywhere. Quick, everyone, hide! Uh, where, where do you want me to hide? You're supposed to be on guard duty, you clown. Stop goofing off. Oh, I wasn't going off, Foster. I was just... Yeah, you know the only thing I hate more than a loafer is a loafer who makes excuses. But, 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 but. There ain't no buts about it. That attitude is what keeps you a grunt here in this here organization. You know what? You're finished here. The family don't need you, don't need clowns like you. Get lost, you clown! Oh, come on, boss, don't kick me out. Where will I go? Claire, did you hear that? Yes, I heard get lost loud and clear. What about Iago? Did he manage to pick it up? Did you hear what that big man said, Iago? Rock! Get, get lost! Rock! It's uncanny how much he sounds like Bostro. A performance like that is sure to fool those two guards at the gate. Let's head to Chinatown! Alright then, to Chinatown we shall go. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's. Because I, I have a I have a sneaky suspicion that uh they're gonna this is the wrong way that there's gonna be because there there's been major b b before every major transition in this game so like whatever's like headed to the future or getting back in the train or, or whatever there's always been a major puzzle milestone we had to get past so I'm gonna go back to this place and solve some of these puzzles. Just to be on the safe side. And they will not be ignored. So we're, we're just gonna tear through all these really quickly. Puzzle Whoa. number 24, no-go arrows. Chart a path from the starting square in the top left corner to the ending square in the bottom right corner. You can't move horizontally or vertically, but you- or sorry, you can move horizontally or vertically, but you can't move in the direction the arrows on each square are pointing, also you can't use the same square twice. Okay, can you make it to the- excuse me, can you make it to the green flag? Touch each square to chart your path. Okay. Um, well, we have to go either right or down, and, hmm, All right, let's, actually, it's, it'd be easier for us to work backwards, so, uh, we can't, we, we can't use this one, because it points directly into the flag, so we have to, we have to go here, which means we have to, hmm, we also can't come from here, so we have to come from here, because these arrows point in that direction. Uh, can't come from here for that exact same reason, so it has to come from this direction. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use that. Actually, this is actually very easy. We just, we just have to follow the path that doesn't result in any arrows being pointed at. So, uh, can't go. So we have to go from this direction, and then we all, our only choice to go up in that direction, and we follow it around the arrows like I said. Follow it around. I said, game. Thank you. Follow it around the arrows like so, and then that links up. Can't go that way up here. That points in that direction on both sides. Up here points from there, and then that connects up like that. Right? Here's my answer. There we go. I knew it. That was that was pretty easy. Just just basically follow the find find the squares where the arrows are pointing towards them, and then go the opposite direction. Okay. I got a mushroom sticker. Great. Yeah, I. I I, I, I have a feel. I, I don't know how many puzzles we're gonna have to solve. Um, to do it also and there may not even be a there may not even be a, a puzzle requirement but every single time we it's but, but before we've entered a new area there's been some kind of puzzle barricade throughout all three games so I'd rather not have to encounter that if we don't have to to find the clock tower in the village below just follow these directions go straight and take the first left take the next right and then the next left and it'll be right in front of you at which spot a through H is the clock tower located what well, where's our starting point what where are we start? Okay, so I guess let, let, let's try to work this out. So, so the only one of these locations that would even allow me to go left and then right would be here. So I go straight, I go left, and then I go right. Everything else I can go left here, but then there's no right I can take. I guess I can do this, but then that's just a that's just the reverse of that, and then that just gets me. Uh, and then there's no there's there's no next left after that. So. 
It has to be A, and then, so it's, so it's gotta be H then. Oh, I have to draw a circle, okay. There we go. This one's as good as solved. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. Correct, so the clock tower is located at spot H. Directions are from spot A if you're facing spot D. Okay, you got a T-sticker. I don't care about stickers. Puzzle 45. I was riding a double-decker bus and the tour guide on the upper level told me that including myself, there were 25 tours in the low level and 40% as many tours in the upper level. Okay. To the calculator we go. Uh, 0.4 times 25. Okay, so it's 35 plus the tour guide plus... I don't... I, don't, I doubt that includes the driver, so that's plus the... Plus the, uh... Plus the bus driver itself. That would be a total of 37 people. This one's as good as solved. Yeah, it's... I knew it! That's another one of those, haha, gotcha. Unless you think for half a second, then you're like, oh wait, no, you don't have me. Okay. Pick a puzzle and get a buzz on. I still hate that, that tagline. Number 49, the missing block. A hidden message is revealed when one of the blocks A, B, C, or D replaces the block the box marked question mark. Tap the letter that corresponds to the correct block. Okay, a hidden message. Okay, so there's an A here. I said there's an A here. An N. Oh, it spells because that's an L. And then that's a that's it's a Y and a T, so it spells it's supposed to say Layton. So we need to find B. That that makes the O shape. That it spells Layton. The trick. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. It's actually nice that this game's puzzles are easier, is because when, when, when we encounter... And again, this could all be for nothing. There there may not actually be a puzzle gate coming up ahead. Um, but even if there isn't, there will be one eventually. So it's best to just get this out of the way now. Uh, so w when we encounter these these spots where we have to just grind through them, it makes it easier to just speed through them at the speed of sound. Alright, one more to go, the checkerboard. There are three sheets of transparent plastic with different patterns painted on them. If you layer them correctly, a checkerboard pattern appears. The order in which you layer them is important, but and you can't flip or rotate the sheets. Which goes in the very bottom, A, B, or C? Oh, that sounds like fun to envision in my head. Okay. Well, we know it's not C. That one's obvious, because this one doesn't actually look like a partially completed checkerboard. So that's gonna be what- that's gonna be the one that displays on top. So it's down to A and B. Uh, and it would be B. B would be the bottom sheet because this one, this part right here, would serve as the base, and then this part would fill in the blue part here, which would then line up with the bottom part in C. So it's gonna be B. This one's as I, I, I don't sold. need to to envision the entire checkerboard in my head no to know that because that is that one part works, and the rest of it would, would hold consistent. Okay, that's all the puzzles solved here. That gives us to a total of forty. So let's. Let's hope that if there's a key coming up ahead, it's gonna be a to it's gonna require a total of 40. So now, now we have to do the incredibly fun thing where we go all the way to Chinatown, which is a very long ways away. Gotta go all the way here in this direction. It goes a long ways to go. Okay, just uh, this we got a, we got a long road ahead of us to get to to get to Chinatown. Okay, up the stairs we go. You know the statue here, Luke? Hmm? Of the one with the man that looks like the professor? Sure. Seem kinda got me thinking about, you know, the future. And one thing that occurred to me is that you know how everything's going to turn out, don't you? I mean, you're me, so you already went through this scenario ten years ago, right? Well, in a way, yes, but I can't tell you what's going to happen from here on out. You see, if you had that knowledge, you could alter the course of history. Some of the things that are supposed to happen might not happen at all. Time travel has changed the way events unfold here, and look at the mess it's made. We wouldn't want to add to that chaos, would we? I guess I never thought about it that way. What's more, knowing about your future self could actually change who you become. And just to complicate things further, it's probably worth noting that technically you aren't me. I'm not? Then who am I? That's a tough question. Our meeting has changed much for both of us. Only the past is certain. If I was you in the past, but you may not be me in the future, you follow? I think I do, but time travel sure is complicated. Yeah, it's why it should be generally avoided at all costs. Unless you have a really, really good story to tell and you are very, very explicit with the rules of your universe. Uh, which so far, credit where its credit is due, so far this game's pretty consistent. I mean, it's, it's, it, we haven't gotten into the minutia of it yet, but so far it's pretty simple. You can travel, it's, it's, you have a, a wormhole that goes between two distinct points in time, and just acts as a, a, a gateway between different time periods. Once we start getting to actually changing history, that's when things are gonna get a little bit more complicated, but for now, we're in the clear. Citations, my amigo, I'm afraid I'm a bit lost. 
Hello there, Pablo. Fancy meeting you here. Where are you trying to get to this time? I read a, magn a magnifique article about the great underground caverns of El Mundo and came to see them. Ah, yes. One school of thought posits that the caverns exist throughout the entire world. Ha. Exactamente. I was on my way to discover the subterranean ruins of Rome when I got lost. Wait, you headed to Rome and ended up here? Ja, the road of a traveler is long and winding, but this time I'm sure I'll reach my destination. Seeing as how we bumped into each other like this, how about a puzzle for El Camino? Sure. Why not? Lunar leapfrogs. Six frogs are sitting atop logs in a bog. Leap, the, leap, leap them around so that each frog's color matches the ribbon tied to its post. Here are three rules you need to follow. You can hop to any empty adjacent log. If there's an empty log one frog over, you can leap over one frog to get there. You can't leap over two frogs at a time. Now tap those frogs not to it. Okay. I, re I really like these sense puzzles. This should be fun. So... Well, let me just make sure I know how this works. So I, I, I just tap the frog and it hops, right? So if I tap you, you hop immediately over there. Okay, so that so it hops one and one log immediately adjacent to it. Uh, and if I were to hop, okay, all right, I, I got it. So if, if I tap you like this, and then I tap red, it hops over. No, it, no, it doesn't do that. Uh, oh wait, wait, I got it. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. We we gotta do it in the reverse order. I do this, then I do that. Then I do white, then I tap red to hop you in that direction. And then we'll actually, mm, Might have messed that, uh... No, I got it, okay. Because then... Then I hop, I hop you over there and hop green back to get, to get green in place. And then I can, then I can hop yellow over there and get you one step closer. Hop white to get him on place and then hop, hop, uh, tap red to get, I said tap red to get, to get that in place. And then from there... The green frog to get him towards the middle, so then we can tap the yellow frog to get him in that direction. Blue goes over there, yellow goes here, and then green hops into place just like that. Yeah! How about this? I love those types of puzzles. I really, really love those types of puzzles. Hip hop, you be! I wonder when the frog capella starts. Alright, we done diddly did it. Magnifique, without salt, I'm ready to return to my travels. Good day, and happy travels wherever you go. I never seen anyone as good as getting lost as you. How did you even make it here to begin with? All right, head to Chinatown. We're almost there. All right, Luke, this is our chance. Oh, I'm so nervous. Just relax, we'll stay back here out of sight and let Iago work his magic. Oh, this place is such a drag. I can't wait to punch out and grab a hot meal. Mmm, sounds good. But I wouldn't give her piping hot meal meat pie with some mushroom gravy right now. We better not let Bosto hear us talking food on the job or he'll tan our hides. Seems like all that brute does is watch us to see if we mess up talk about a terrible boss. Oh, I do your thing, Iago. Doing my thing, doing my thing. Rock. Psst, Iago, you're on. Get lost, you clown. Did you just hear Bostro? Yeah, he told me to get lost. I was talking to you. Maybe you meant both of us. I think you're right. I, I, Bostro, you don't get to tell us twice. We'll get lost immediately. Where you go, Iago? Squawk, squawk. Excellent, I think we can finally get into Chinatown now. It's all thanks to our pal, Iago. Get lost, get lost, you clown. Then, you can stop saying that now, Iago. Okay, into Chi- I didn't want to go backwards. Into Chinatown we go! What's this device is stuck on the door? Oh no, that's a puzzle counter. Oh no? Why oh no? These things measure how many puzzles a person has solved. Don't look for anyone to solve a few of them quite a number of puzzles. You take a look at the display on the front of the machine. It says 50. Oh, boy. Fun. So that was all pointless because it wasn't even enough to get past. So I was correct, there was going to be a puzzle lock. Wasn't enough to get past it all. No. Oh god. Great. Phenomenal. <sighs> Alright. Let's go find some Does the cat have a puzzle for us? Great, the cat has a puzzle for us. Oh, oh hello there, Mr. Cat. Meow. 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 What's he saying, Nuke? He says he's in a bit of a jump, Professor. Freaking puzzle counter. This tomcat is trying to meet up with his sweetheart. However, the dogs on the squares with X's can smell a cat up to three squares away. And chase him off. They can't, however, smell a cat through a wall. Which entrance A, B, C, or D should the tomcat take to be reunited with his lady friend? Okay. Sure thing. Alright, so... Three squares away, huh? Uh... So, basically... One, two, three... So basically anything like here is off limits, so you can't go there. Um anything here is off limits, can't go there. So we're just we, we just disregard this entrance entirely. This this entrance is dead to us. We we don't take this entrance because that just goes directly here. So that's so entrance C is off the table. 
Uh, sorry, entrance, what, what is that? Entrance D, it's off the table, sorry. Entrance D, off the table. Uh, and, uh, this guy, one, two, three, you can go, you can go here, but then you'll be stopped by this guy. So entrance A is also off the table. So now, we're not, we're down to B and C. Uh, B, we can go, no, B's off the table, so it has to be C then. It has to be C, because all the other ones will be cut off immediately by one of the roots of the freaking dogs. Hmm. How about this? No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. Yeah, that once that was pretty simple. Just just gotta figure out where the dogs can smell you from and then solve it from there. Okay. So we're a total of 42 now. Do you have another puzzle for us? Nope. You're just gonna meow at us. Great. Let's go on a hunt for puzzles, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Can you have a puzzle for us? Nope. You have a puzzle for us? Yes, you do. We, ladies and gentlemen, we found another puzzle. All right, I don't really care. Just, just give me the puzzle. Just, I do, I do not care at all. Just give me the puzzle. Just give me the puzzle, and I'll solve it. Just give me the puzzle, you freaking. I don't care. Thank you. Twisted tunnels. You dug a bunch of tunnels, but they turned out to be as convoluted as an ant farm. You have to connect A to A, B to B, and C to C, and you can't use the same path twice. However, the only way to do this is to make one connection go above ground. It's connection A, B, or C. Uh, this this seems like a lot of trial and error. Okay, so if I follow A around like this, uh, that would take me above ground. But what if I? If, what, let's 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 just try to connect them all and see which one forces us to go above ground. So like, if I is, this, is that an intersection? Hold on, let me let me undo that really quickly so I can see. Okay, there is an intersection right here. So let's go try uh, try to take it down this direction. Uh, can I, hmm, if I loop, wait, wait, where is A? Okay, A's right there, so let's try to draw a line up here from A, so I can see, okay, so we gotta connect it to there, so if I loop it around here, and then loop it around like this, that connects, it. okay, so we don't, a, a, A's on the table, we don't, we don't have to go above A, we don't, have, we don't have to go over, above ground to get to A. B's a straight shot, oh, never mind, I thought it was a straight shot, it was, it is not quite as straight of a shot as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, so if I go around like this... Uh, hmm. So that. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. So, so B swoops underneath like this. I think. Does this work? If I take it up to that intersection, then I bring it down here, and then I it goes up around here, and then I can take it up, loop it around like so, and then that takes another loop around here. Which I can then use to connect it into B. So the only one, neither of those had to take us above ground, so we'll, so it's got to be C. Hmm. How about this? Through the simple process of elimination, <laughs> it had to be C. Okay. Great. We done diddly did it. Seven more to go. Your puzzle. Thank you. All right. Great. Puzzle thirty-four. The mysterious memo. When you returned to your apartment, you discovered a strange piece of paper next to your calculator. Your roommate must have been trying to tell you something before he left. The note says 101 times 5. So it's 500 in SOS. It says the 5 would be an S in the scenario, so it's going to be SOS. 505 SOS. I've got a good feeling about this one. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. I mean, if they're all this easy, then we should be able to get up to 50 in no time. It's just a matter of... It's a matter of finding the puzzles in the first place, because they're just... I have to check. I'm, I'm just gonna ask. I'm gonna ask everyone in town until eventually I get a freaking puzzle. Does a statue have a. What do you know? The statue has a puzzle for us. Great. Phenomenal. Okay. Puzzle 32 Broken Lance. There are four knights with lances in the photo. One of the lances was broken and then repaired with string right before the picture was taken. Which lance is it? Uh, of course, all the lances were originally straight. Uh. I don't even... How the... Uh, they all look the... Wait! No, they don't. They don't all look the same. They don't all look the same. So if I draw a line right here, it doesn't perfectly line up. Whereas this one, and this one, and this one all perfectly line up. But C doesn't perfectly line up with the bottom part. Okay. That's pretty clever. Credit where credit's due. That one's pretty clever. Phew, that 
That's a relief. Okay, another puzzle solved. Uh, let's just keep talking to more people, trying to find more freaking puzzles. Do you have one? You do not have one. Did the guy over by the observatory have one for us? Yes, he did. So let's just, just, just give me the puzzle. Just give me the puzzle. I don't care what you have to say. Give me the puzzle. Leap frogs. Four frogs sitting on top. Okay, this is the same thing. Is it the same rules? Yes, it is. Okay, so... Uh... So basically, we just gotta we just gotta switch positions then. Like we we have to get the, the two frogs on the left over the two frogs on the right, and vice versa. Okay. So in that case, this should be easy because I just have to tap you. I have to tap you and then tap you to get you back over there, and then tap you so I can leap uh, leap over blue onto the red spot, and then tap yellow to get you there so we can get green into place, and then get blue into place, and then yellow into place. Nice and easy. Here's my answer. Those types of puzzles where you're like switching things around. Big fan of those types of puzzles. Okay. Uh, so we're one step closer. Uh, how many do we have done? 46. Okay, we gotta find four more freaking puzzles. Oh my god, do you have one? No, you don't. Did someone in the restaurant have one for us? Yes, you do. Great. Let's. Let's just give me the puzzle. Give me the puzzle. Number 135, four jams. Four types of jam are combined into pairs and placed into the four boxes below. Use a scale to determine the relative weights of each type of jam. Oh, one of these. Okay. Haven't seen one of these types since the first game. Okay, well the first thing we gotta do... We'll put... Oh my god, stop! I know how this works. Put these two next to each other, and we'll see which one of them is heavier. Uh... One nice thing is that we don't actually have a, uh... A limited amount of times we can use the scale, which should make this a lot easier. So, do I just tap it to do the thing? Okay, so... So, blue is heavier than green. Of course, that doesn't really help us if we if we don't know how heavy red is. But we can do that easily, because all we have to do is just swatch this out for blue and green. Okay. So, blue is definitively heavy. Okay, so... So, blue is the heaviest, green is second heaviest, and red's the lightest of... Okay, so... So, now we gotta figure out where yellow fits into the equation. Which shouldn't be too bad because we can just compare compare the yellow set to the blue and green set. They're equal. Okay. Interesting. So So this okay, so that so if 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 the two combined yellows are equal to the individual uh blue so if one what what both yellows combined are equal to the combined total of blue and green and that means that yellow has to be the second heavy set out of the bunch so so we'll put so blue is the heaviest yellow is the second heaviest green is there and then red's the lightest out of the bunch i think this logic checks out press your fingers did you see that <laughs> there we go the logic checked out okay great Whew. It's been a while since we've done one of those types of puzzles. And we're at a total of... 47. Three more to go. And then we can finally get in... Do any of you have puzzles for me? Like you? You do have a puzzle for me. Great. Okay. Just give me... Show me what you got. Create the key. To complete the key, fit the five blocks that form Professor Layson's top hat into the outline below without overlapping the pieces or leaving any spaces empty. You can rotate it for the box. Okay. Uh, so first is first, we gotta figure out how to make the, the teeth of the key. I think I can do that pretty easily, because I just gotta take the green one, rotate, I said, rotate, I, I love these controls, I sure do love these controls, okay, put that there, and then if I just take the blue one, and rotate that around, then that goes in here, and that fits perfectly like so, uh, and then this shape, this shape right here, almost perfectly lines up with the outline of this one. Uh, I just, yeah, just put it right there. Uh, and to fill in that gap, if I, if I flip this around, that fits in there, and then this will complete the, complete the shape. Allow me to present my solution. It seems I was right on the money. That you were. Okay, we're almost there. Nearly there. Just two more puzzles to go, and then we can go into Chinatown and continue the actual story. Do you have a puzzle for us? Yes, you do. Fantastic. I'm running. I'm running out of locations to check here, so I'm hoping that I'm hoping that there's gonna be someone else nearby. Picky moviegoers. 
Six moviegoers need to be seated at the theater, and it's your job to find an arrangement that will satisfy all of the requirements. A. I refuse to sit next to you, behind, or in front of C. Oh, this is gonna be a pain. B. I can't stay in the front row. I don't know how anyone can stay in the front row. C. I don't like the left or right seats. I... What? You don't like the left or right seats? <laughs> okay. Okay, so C goes in the middle. Great. So C's either gonna go here or here. Uh, we'll put you there for now. Uh, I hate the back row on the left side. I, I, I for being the right. Everyone hates the left side of the thing. What is. Oh, I, mm, anything but the front or left seats. Wait, so the, the only person here who doesn't hate. Oh, okay. This is easy. So the only two people who don't hate the left side are B and A. A can't go next to C, so we put B here and we put A there. Because uh, B can't stay in the front row. So that's easy. And then based on that much, uh, F doesn't like the front or left seats, so F has to go in the remaining back seat. And then, uh, E prefers being, e prefers being on the right side, and then D goes in there. Perfect. Here's my answer. That wasn't quite as much of a hassle as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like the, the birthday party one, where all the siblings or the cousins couldn't sit next to each other or whatever. Remember that one? That was fun. Okay, just one more puzzle to solve. One more puzzle, and then we can go into Chinatown. So let's we'll just find someone. You. Not you, never mind. You have no puzzle for us. Uh, how about... Uh, the person in the arcade. Is there anyone in the arcade? Let's go. Owen, go in here. You? Yes! Yes! Our final puzzle is about to be solved. Okay, here we go. Five stamps. The five numerical stamps shown below are designed to fill in the four blank squares and complete the equation. Only one digit can be used in each square. Your task is to make a valid equation using the fewest number of stamps to fill all four blank squares. Pick the stamps you'll use by checking the box below and then, check, then tap submit. Can I actually stamp them? No, okay. So... Can I... Because we can rotate these. Obviously we can rotate these. And if you flip them all around, you get the numbers 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Except, if you rotate 9... Sorry, if you rotate the 6 one even more, you can get the 9 symbol. You can get the number 9. And you can, and if we put three plus three plus three, that will equal nine. This one's as good as solved. Yep. Okay, that's what I thought. No puzzle can stop. There's always some kind of trick to these things. But there we go. There we did it. All fifty puzzles solved. Which means now we can go into Chinatown and continue with the story. So let's go back out. Go all the way back to Chinatown, which is going to be buckets of fun. Keep going through the stairs to the right hand side. All the way across the bridge. I'm okay, just a little bit further to go. We're almost there. We're, we're almost there, guys. Just a little bit further, and then we can finally continue with the freaking story. Just come on, how many freaking go, go, just go, go, go through the thing, go, T tap the thing. We solved 50 puzzles. Great, we did it. Okay, go inside. Phew, I was there for a second, but we can go through now. That we can. Inside we go. Just down this road is your future self. Do you find it at all unnerving? It's quite a peculiar sensation, I must admit. Yes, quite. I still can't believe there's another Professor Layton running around. I assure you, the man is real. You'll see soon enough. Ask Lewis about Chinatown. Okay, let's just talk to people. And hey, this is Chinatown. Listen to yourself, young man. Like all sentient beings, I exist everywhere and nowhere. Well, that's very nice. Now, if what you really wanted to ask me is where our physical bodies are located, I'll tell you. This is indeed Chinatown. Here you can find exotic goods and rare wonders from all over the world. But these things don't interest me. Material objects are mere dust flecks on the universe's canvas. Somebody tells me I picked the wrong person to ask for directions. You've only just started to make your way in the world, young one. For you, many of life's greatest puzzles remain unsolved. For example, this one. Puzzle 64, who broke it? One of these people broke the window. When asked about it, they gave the following statements in order, starting with A. A. I didn't do it. B. A is telling the truth. C. D is lying. D. I swear it wasn't me. The person whose story sounds fishy is the culprit. Whose is it? Well, if they gave their stories in order, then C couldn't have known that D was lying because D didn't say anything yet. Hmm. How about this? I knew it! 
Yeah, I mean, it's just... Spoke a little too soon there, C. Pulse 64, who broke it, is now in your puzzle index. That, that, that's, just a, that's just a dumb thing to say. Like, why would you... Why would you even... Why... Uh, that's... Wow, that's... That, that... Hey, this person hasn't spoken anything yet, but they're lying. Like... Okay, sure thing. Great. Uh, I guess... Well, you are useless. Let's talk to you. Maybe you have information for us. Good day, whippersnappers. Tell me, have you ever stopped to admire this marvelous gate? This magnificent structure was constructed to welcome a lucky spirit into the vicinity. It is a breathtaking piece of art, isn't it? Tell me, sir, are you familiar with this part of town? You mean Chinatown? I suppose some might say that I'm familiar with the area. As you might expect from the name, this area has many restaurants and shops selling goods from Asia. One thing most folks don't know is that despite its appearance, the buildings here aren't that old. I've also heard that the family's headquarters are in this area. I- Oh, well, there, my friend. Keep your voice down. That fact might become knowledge. It's not the kind of thing one talks about in public. I think what the press wants to do is if you can tell us how to get there. Oh, you're a straight shooter, aren't you, boy? I admire that. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. If you solve my puzzle, I'll point out the family's headquarters to you. Sure thing. Puzzle 63, which finger? When counting on his fingers, this eccentric man counts in the order you see in the picture below. When he counts from 1 to 5, he returns to his thumb and continues counting in the same order, starting with 6. If he continues counting in this way, which finger would, would he land on when he gets to six, uh, 7 and 63? Circle the correct fingertip. Uh, yeah, that would be this one. Because all that matters, when, when you count with your fingers, you're just counting... Like, it's, let's say I count 1 to 5, so I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I restart again. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I'm still counting in terms of 5. So when you get it to that high of numbers, you're just counting the singles digit. You're not count nothing else matters, because you're just still going by a factor of 5, so it's going to be the pinky finger. That should do the trick. Just as I suspected. High five! Alright. Well, we solved your puzzle. Now, pay up. Ooh, you made short work of that puzzle, so here's your prize. See that tall building? The one in the distance? That's the one, it's called the Towering Pagoda, and it's the family business of operations. It's always a giant tower, every single time. But enough of that unpleasant topic here, have an enjoyable stay in Chinatown. Good day. Okay, well, let's head to the Towering Pagoda then. Look at all these shops, and it smells like something amazing is cooking here. I see you've taken a liking to the neighborhood, let's ask a few more locals about the area. Alright, let's talk to you. Hello there, little girl. Oh, hi there, mister. Hiya! And hiya right back at you. Oh, that was an- that was nice. I do still love a good greeting, don't you? Well, you always get a proper greeting from us, because that's what gentlemen do. Yep, the world would be a nicer place if more people to said hello like you two. People in this town are so... what's the word? Uncouth. That's what my mom always calls people here. Oh? Do you live around here? Yep, Dad moved out here and brought me and Mom along. But I think our move is a terrible idea. Dad hasn't come home once since he started working here, and all Mom does is complain about it. What's what is he doing at work that keeps him there all the time? Beats me. All I know is that when I grow up, there's no way I'll, I'll become or marry a mechanical engineer. So your father's an engineer? Yep. Dad moved here after his old company got bought. Isn't that unbelievable? Can you imagine buying a whole company? You have to be super rich. You certainly would. You know, there's a great puzzle about a rich man my dad told me once. And I can't wait to solve it. At an antique store, a wealthy gentleman is looking at three flower vases, each with a different portrait painted on it. Well, would you look at that? This one looks just like me. I'll take it. Which vase did the man choose? Um... None of them look anything like you. None of these portraits look literally anything like you. Wait, oh my god, is it? Is he referring... Okay, so if we... If we flip this upside down... Then... It's shaped like this... Which... Would match the shape of his body. Is that seriously what we're going for here? Hmm. How about this? Wow. Okay. I knew it. <sighs> okay. Sure thing, game. Sure thing, game. Uh, talk to you, I guess. Let's just talk to more people. What's up? I'm just wondering if you knew anything about the man who runs the tower in Pagoda. Of course I do, everyone does. That fellow's bad news, mate. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, he's got a bunch of thugs working for him. And they're, like, thugs thugs, if you know what I mean. So I figure their boss has to gotta be one nasty character. I see. He and his goons have this place so scared most people don't bother going out much. Maybe that's why puzzles are so popular here. Oh, let me tell you one. Puzzle 65, Strange Shapes. Five shapes are drawn on the chalkboard below. One of them isn't quite right. Circle shape doesn't belong. That's... That's your only advice for me. 
Just find the shape that doesn't belong. Okay, well this man's pointing to this one. Does that mean it's this one? The <laughs> Most of these shapes are interesting. Except this one, this one just looks like you have a bunch of hooks attached to the end of it. Oh! Oh, they're not hooks. That's- okay, you know what? That is really clever. That's actually really freaking smart. Okay. Okay. They're not hooks. Okay, l l l let me circle this out. So there's a five here. There's a three here. There's a, a nine here. A four here. And a seven here. Now if we count them up, we have one, two, three threes. Two, three, four, five fives. Two, three, four, five, six, seven sevens. Four fours, and only five nines. That's actually really clever, game. That's that's really, really, really freaking clever. Let's see if I've got this right. Just as I suspected. Correct. All right, credit or credits you. That was actually pretty clever. Smooth, real smooth. A word of advice if you value your hide, stay away from the Tower of Pagoda. Yeah, well, too bad. We're headed there anyway. We're headed directly there. Oh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to go back. Okay. Uh... Well, look who we have here. We met on our way to the Gilded Seven Casino, did we not? Hmm, nice to see that I made an impression. Let me guess, you don't want to let us through. There's no need for that attitude. Keeping those out with no business here is my livelihood, you see. You can't fall a fellow for trying to make a living, can you? Perhaps not, but we do have business here. We've come to meet with Leighton. That may very well be the case. Unfortunately, I simply can't let you pass. And why is that? We've stated our business. Because my employer, Mr. Layton, is out at the moment, hence you have no reason to enter the building. And you're quite sure he's out and about right now? <laughs> I didn't just lie to you if that's what you were insinuating. The boss has stepped out. He's away. Gone. Not here! But where could he have gone? Well, wherever he is, it doesn't sound like he's up on the tower and we go to right now. Thus, I propose we do some sleuthing. I'm sure we can track down Layton yet. I agree. Let's ask some of the people in the area if they've seen my elusive counterpart. <sighs> I mean, we've already talked to people that... Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to some more people, I guess, um, okay, where, let, I guess we'll go, actually, wait, no, there, there was a path down, right? Hold on. Can we go down here? Oh, wait, is this just a train station? Okay, it's just, okay, never mind, it's just a, just a train station. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back here. Do we have to talk to you again? What can I do for you? I'm to go see the man who runs the Tower of but he was out. You know where he is? I think so. I'm not telling you. He's a dangerous man. You don't want to tangle with him. Buddy, we're gonna save your entire future, so tell us where he is. Come now, surely there's no harm in letting us know where he might be. You're wrong there, but I guess I can tell you what I've heard. It's just a rumor, though. You sure you want to know this? I'm telling you this fellow's bad news. Real bad. We can handle it. What have you heard? People say he disguises himself and then walks around town. Yup, there you go, as if you needed any more proof. Look who it is, Don Ballow. He disguises himself, huh? Well, what? who do you think it is, folks? <sighs> it could be only feet from him right now and not know it. Freaky, right? Look, I'm getting creeped out, so let's end this little chat, okay? Later. Well, golly gee whiz. I wonder who Layton is gonna be. Okay. Uh, where so do we have to talk to e talk to everyone? I, I, we've already is, is there any we haven't gone down this way yet. Maybe we have to go down here. Where does this go? Make way, make way, come on through. I'm in a hurry here. I gotta get back. So, God, is that little man startled me? Who, who would have thought such short legs can move so quickly? You see how he raced out of the shop? I sure did. He was sprinting, and he wet pounds and shoes too. And he was carrying two articles of, bo of books to boot. He must be a big customer here. Maybe the woman behind the counter something about him. Let's talk to you and find out. Hello, Maya! May I help you find something? Actually, I was hoping you could tell us about the man who dashed out of your store just now. Oh, that'd be Dr. Avagar Avogadro. He's always in a hurry. His pants and shoes were soaked. It was very strange. I guess I've gotten used to it. He's always looked that way. He takes away from work to browse through our new books. You know how absent-minded geniuses can be. I bet he doesn't notice puddles in the road. Oh, maybe he likes to go fishing on his brakes. Alright, well that got us absolutely nowhere, so let's just keep... Oh. I... I guess we can't... Okay, can we talk to you? What is it? What do you want? Can you say I'm in a hurry here? Oh, I think you've upset him. You can't just go running up to people you don't know and expecting to chat with you. I can't help it, Flora. How else are we supposed to find a for investigation? Some people really don't like talking to strangers. Hey, if you two are just going to stand there squabbling, will you at least get out of the way? I got places to be, and I don't appreciate you stopping me. Oh, but you don't really want to run around like that, do you? Mm hmm? Like what? With your pants and shoes all wet and squishy, it seems awfully uncomfortable. There will be time for drawing later. I have to go now. Enjoy your little row. 
Gone, there he goes. He might have seen if you hadn't upset him from the get-go. You can you can hardly blame that on me. Okay, can we go okay now we can go up here. Uh oh well that's these people from before. I'm I'm not gonna talk to you because you're just gonna get scared off. What is that umbrella thing up there? I can't interact with it. Never mind, okay. Uh can we talk to you? Hello there, my name's Paige. What's yours, miss? I'm Flora. How do you do, Paige? Not so well, I'm afraid. I've had this puzzle in my mind for days that has me positively stumped. I know we just met, and this is terribly forward to me, but would you mind taking a look at it? Puzzle 75, create the chick. To complete the chick, fit the five blocks that form Professor Layton's top half into the outline below without overlapping the pieces or leaving any spaces empty. You can rotate or flip the blocks. Okay. Uh... Well, I like to... I usually like to start with the end pieces, because they're the, some of the most definitive things, so like if I put- no, not you. If I put you here, and then I rotate you like that, then I can put the green one in here. Uh, and that fits in- no, stop, stop, just rotate, there we go, that- that- that fits in there perfectly. Uh, concurrently- oh, actually this is easy, because this, if I rotate it around, uh, if I just rotate it, oh my god, I hate these controls. Put it in there, that fits that, that fits, I said that, that, no, stop. Oh my god, I hate these controls, they're so bad, they're actually so bad. Who designed these controls, just... You clearly can put a button next to the thing that makes me rotate it, so just put another one that allows me to actually flip it around, for god's sake, who designed these atrocious controls? Just rotate it around. Oh my god, this is- I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna- I'm gonna lose my mind. Just- There we go. No! I, mean, I hate this control so much, they're so bad! They're actually so bad! Okay, put that there. Which means that now I can try to rotate this around again, and then that leaves- this is the only thing left we have to fill in the gap. If I can get it to just rotate around, please, 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 please! Just, there we go. No, stop! Stop rotating it around! Here goes nothing! Oh! That puzzle. God! Those controls are so bad! They're so bad! But it's over now! Great! We done diddly did it, okay! Great! Well, I try! After all, smarts are something no true lady can be without! We got a master sticker! And we got another, uh, another Riago side quest! Okay, I guess let's just go... This is creepy. I don't like this building. We're not- we're, okay. We're- Can we check in here? What's in here? Huh. Granny Riddles in this place. Tell me, Duke, does this anything about this must strike you as familiar? Actually, now that you mention it. This is... Can we not- Can we not go into Granny Riddleton's shack? I guess not, but our stupid bee friend is here. That's an awfully big slide for such a small bee. What's going you down? Me? Well, you know, even a, any even a honeybee like me, myself gets a little down in the dumps now and then. It must be awfully hard to take care of all those puzzles, being, um, a bee and all. Oh, that? Well, that's a piece of cake, kid. Problems that are different for the other bees. No kidding, what's your story anyhow, Beasley? Oh, so you want to hear about me, do you then? Sure, alright. It's a gripping tale of a lonely drone's triumph over adversity. To become a puzzle bee. I'm talking about- gotcha. <laughs> Get dunked on, Stop Beasley! <laughs> He's had enough slapping for one day. Now how are we supposed to solve all those puzzles that we left behind? Oh, no worries there, my fellow puzzle aficionado. Taking care of puzzles is my job now. Granny's put me in charge, so just leave it to me. Granny who? Oh, right, of course. So then you're... That's right. You can call me Puzzlet, because that's my name. Hope to see ya soon, soon, soon! Uh, <laughs> I'ma just go. I'm, I'ma go. I, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Bye, see you later. Okay, number one. That was freaking hilarious. Freaking getting to see the bee get smacked out of the air. Number two. That person feels like someone who belongs in a Blue's Clues episode. Right? Like, the way she talked doesn't... She, she feels like a Blue's Clues character. Or at least she sounds like one, I don't know. Anyway, I guess I have to talk to you now. 
Oh, what a splendid parrot you've got there. Nice to meet you. Meet you. I'm Iago. Iago. Squawk. Oh, my clever and polite. My name's Myrtle Iago. Hello, Mr. Hello, Myrtle. Nice to meet you. Is this your pet shop? Pet shop? Oh, no, 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 young fellow. This is no pet shop. It's a mean place for animals to find true friends. Are you good friends with Iago? You bet. Uh, oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Luke. <laughs> well, it's very nice to meet you, Luke. You and Iago are pretty nice with each other now, you hear? Squawk! Get lost! Get lost! You're gonna lose! Squawk! Now's not the right time to bust it out, Iago. Great. Well, that was that didn't help us at all. Okay. We have to do it. I guess we'll just talk to more people. Hello there. Ah, good day, miss. The name's Hazel. It's lovely to meet you. Hiya, Hazel. Oh, no, it's you. Good to see you again. You were using that cute girl as a decoy to lure me out of hiding. I knew it. I knew something was funny when she started chatting me up out of the blue. Why, why did I stop to talk to her? They get wherever you want me. I gotta get out of here. Oh, my God. Whatever did I do to get on that fellow's bad side? Speak to me, Professor. Is that fellow a friend of yours, Luke? I'd be nice, but I can't even get him to stop cowering in fear for five seconds. Okay, well, there's no one else. Do I, do I just have to talk to every single person in town until eventually... That might be it. Okay, let's just let's just go at every shop, talk to everyone. Eh, the boss, like, I'm here because I don't want to think about the boss, you follow? Besides, you're never going to find him at a hole in the wall like this. He likes more upscale joints. Okay, can I talk to you? Welcome to Pepper's Noodle Palace. Well, the bee. Sorry, but we're not here to eat. We just want to know if you can tell us something about the fellow who runs the Towering Pagoda. Oh, I really can't interest you in a bite to eat. All right, then. Now, what were you saying? We would like to meet the man who runs the Towering Pagoda, but he seems to be out at the moment. Has he been by your restaurant? I don't think so. I mean, I don't even know what he looks like. But his lackeys come by here almost every day to slack off. The horrible tippers, by the way. Now that I think about it, there's a good chance the man you're looking for never comes here. I mean, would you loaf on the job in a place where the boss could be busting on you at any moment? You make a good point. That's very astute of you. That is nice, but if you really want to say thanks, order some food next time you come in, okay? Great. Now let's go to the other building. Uh, oh, it's a toy shop. And you have a puzzle for us. Take a look at all the toys in here. Bring on toys, are we? Uh? I used to be, but now that I'm older, I don't have much time for toys anymore. Oh, but you can't forget that toy car of yours, my boy. I suppose you got me there, Professor. That car's too fun to put down. A toy car, you said. Let me see it. Yes, this is one of my creations. Really? Wow, that is so cool. Yeah, thank you kindly. This is just such a fan I have a special offer for you. If you can best this puzzle of mine, I'll give you a special track for your car. A special track just for solving a puzzle? Gosh, this is my lucky day! Two squares of paper, A and B, are shown below. Following the arrows from left to right, each piece is folded in half and then folded in half again. The red dotted lines of the far right image of paper A show where a cut will be made. Your job is to cut paper B so that when you unfold it, the cutout shape in the middle matches the shape in the middle of paper A when it's unfolded. Draw the cut you need to make onto the rightmost image of paper B. Oh, this sounds like not fun at all. Oh, actually, wait, no. Okay, never mind. Okay, so this is this is deceptively easy again because I just need I just need to form a really small triangle, and then that'll that'll fold out into into the shape hmm. of A. How about this? I knew it. I think we've solved more puzzles in this episode than any other episode throughout, like any other Professor Layton episode across all three games. I feel like we've solved like. 20 puzzles. Okay, well, can I talk to you to get more information outside of that puzzle? No, I cannot. Great. Where am I supposed to go exactly? Do I have to talk to you again? Nope. That's... Okay, what about over here? Uh, hi. Something I have no respect for others. What seems to be the matter? Just look at this wall of mine. Someone has graffitied it. I'm sure the neighborhood misfit who did it is having a laugh, but I'm the one who has to clean it up. Hmm, that paint's stuck on pretty good. I don't think I'll be able to strip it off. I suppose I'll just have to paint over the whole thing. We're all in the subject of paint, so I might as well ask. You ever heard of this puzzle? This old brick wall has been painted in a strange aesthetic. There are five unique shapes in a white background. Artsy. What color paint was used the most? Uh... Is the color white an option? Because you needed to paint the background wall white. Can I... Okay, I can't select it. Hmm. How about this? Another one of those good old-fashioned trick questions the game loves so much. Okay, exactly. Without a doubt, yep. I'm... Okay, but do you know anything of interest? Anything at all. Please, tell me anything. Nope. Okay, what... What... Wh where am I supposed to be going? I, okay, great. Your slate. Phenomenal. I, I've talked to every single person in this goddamn town. Where? 
What do you want me to do? I... I... Oh, great. The pair... Is there a hint coin here? Yes, there is. You got a hint coin. Great. Do I have to... I'm just gonna talk to everyone until I... Until I... Until I find something. Maybe I have to talk to the person in here again? If you've missed any part yeah, great. Okay, I know. Phenomenal. D I've talked to every single person in this town at least twice. Let's talk to you again. My, my, my current objective is learn more about future Layton. The only way I can do this is by talking to every single person in this town. I have talked to every single person in this town at least twice. I'll talk to everyone again, I guess. Good day, Webster. Did you manage to find that dreadful man who runs the Tower in Bogota? Unfortunately, no. He was out when he paid him a visit. We're actually trying to locate him now. Ah, well, you're wasting your time searching for him in this part of the town. Does that mean you know where we can find our man? Oh, I've said too much, and he can be so careless at times. So you do know, but he tells us where we can find him. It's very important. I'll say it again, lad. I like how forthright you are. Given that I suppose I can drop a hint your way, and I help you then have one condition. Yes. If you're not going to tell my darling wife, I'll be eating lunch out today. But we don't know who where, that, where she is. Oh, she's easy to find, my Myrtle. Oh. Great. Then we'll deliver the best your wife will return later. Okay, fine. Just go to the pet shop. Hey, the, this is where we'll find. Yeah, we've already been here. We've already been to this part of town. Hey, Myrtle, you're. you're I have a message for you. We have a message for you, Myrtle. Let me guess, it's from that no good husband of mine. That slugger just strolls about town all day while I work my fingers to the bone here. Professor, what, what's a slugger? On a spring day when we don't have an angry lady in front of us. Now, where were we? What? Your husband and Rudolph wanted to let you know he's eating lunch up today. Oh, Daddy's at Peppers. It's infuriating. I'm the one who works it. I still manage to prepare lunch for us every day. And he has the nerve to let it go to waste. No, no, madam. Please settle down. Furthermore, we don't have enough disposable income to be eating out all the time. I don't care how much he likes those suits. His behavior is simply shameful. Well, uh, since we delivered the message, we, we, we best be off now. I spend valuable time picking out and preparing nutritious, delicious recipes, and this is my thanks? I'm a working woman, you know. Oh, where did everyone go? Phew, that was intense. It's just to show that... It just goes to show you, uh, that when someone prepares your food, you can't just run off on them! Ha ha ha, funny. Say, where's the professor? Here I am. You three surprised me. I never knew you could run that fast. My apologies, professor. It was getting a bit uncomfortable in there. Professor, don't you agree that it's very rude to stand up someone when they've made food for you? Oh, yes. Absolutely. A gentleman should always express gratitude for the hospitality of others. Now that's over with. Rudolph needs to hold up his end of the bargain. Let's pay him another visit. So, this is a bit of an out there theory. But we haven't, this has been in my mind for a while now, we haven't actually solved many puzzles as Layton this episode. And we've mainly been playing as Luke, Future Luke, and Flora. And, and Layton himself, since we got to the, back to the future, seems to have been more, I don't want to say more distant, but less central in, like, talking to people. What do you think the odds are that Don Pelo is has disguised himself as Layton? for this time period, to like, trick us all. That's a, that's a bit of an outlandish theory, but at this point, with this game franchise, anything goes at this point. Alright, let's go talk to Rudolph. What would you love the message to my honey? We did, but I have to tell you that she was absolutely seating by the time we left. Why ever for? She seemed rather upset at the thought you might be visiting Peppa's restaurant. Oh dear me, I fear there may be a misunderstanding brewing here. Do go on. My wife's a gem, I treat her like a queen. And what queen do you, do you know prepares lunch? She works so hard that I don't want to add her a burden. Plus, who doesn't love noodle soup? And now, excuse me, I'm boring you now. Let me give that you that bit of information I promised you. Just a rumor, but I've heard that the fellow you're after is quite fond of old father Thames. Some say he likes going for long walks to my the river whenever he has a spare moment. Interesting, so there's a chance we might find a man down by the river Thames. Oh, like I said, it's a rumor and nothing more, but go and see. Maybe it'll pan out. We'll do just that. Thank you for the advice. Just a moment now. Oh, 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 you younger folks are always in a hurry, aren't you? Here, take this. A flyer? It's a small restaurant on the edge of the Thames. It's called the Thames Arms? A lovely little place. If you're in the area at half the time, you should really stop in. It sounds like a perfect place to take a break. We'll be sure to check it out if the time allows. Good day, sir. Oh, wait just a moment, boy. Yes? My wife, Myrtle. Exactly how angry was she? Furious. Oh, I see. Thank you, that'll be all. Oh, dear. Where does one go to admire the Thames around here? There was, there was a hill we walked over on the way to Chinatown. The view of the river was very nice. The place Lou's talking about has a path that runs down to the riverside. It might be worth checking out. Oh, goody, a walk by the river sounds so nice. Flora, focus, this is serious business. We're all we're holding the trail of a criminal. Oh, Luke, loosen up a little. We're making progress on the case, and Flora's just finding her own way to enjoy it. I suppose that's true. Then what are we waiting for? So let's, head, let's head to the hill. Say, so okay. Oh my god, that chapter. 
How long was that chapter? Good God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I missed the short chapters. I really missed the short chapters. They worked way better. We solved more puzzles in this game, or in this chapter, than any other freaking episode. And that was all just... We just we just went back and forth throughout the entire day trying to town until eventually he just... The, the guy just like, Oh, by the way, you, you, you shouldn't be searching here. This is a c complete wild goose chase. Okay, well, that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next tomorrow. For some more, for the future. Goodbye.